You're listening to the smartest guys in marketing, the best show on the planet for client businesses to learn about traffic, funnels, sales, conversions, and marketing coolness. Chris and Taylor are the founders of Traffic and Funnels, a digital marketing consultancy helping you get paid clients from cold traffic daily. Now, here are your hosts, Chris and Taylor. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, T Money, from Traffic and Funnels, smartest guys in marketing. Going to continue the trend here, sharing with you some episodes that are not typical, traditional, smartest guys in marketing episodes, okay? But this, what I've got for you today, is very special. I'm actually pulling a piece of private training uh, that is all about mindset mindset performance before you stop this podcast let me just tell you something real quick we are where we are today not because of how good we are at marketing although part of it is marketing but because of how we think and our ability to solve problems as an entrepreneur if you want to make money that's great but you're going to get punched in the mouth over and over and how you think about that mindset is a big 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 deal so there is some marketing training in this specific episode but there's a lot of mindset and this is actually something that we sent to clients. If you're inside Client Kit or Upper Echelon, you see these weekly trainings we do on mindset. We have weekly trainings on mindset, weekly trainings on sales, in addition to the one on one elements that are involved in Client Kit. Listen, best program on the planet, bar none. And I'm going to give you a piece of it today because uh, Chris is almost done with some new marketing stuff, and I've been out and we've been building all of this new stuff. And so I'm actually going to take a recording of the mindset training, I'm going to share it with you here. I hope you love it and uh, leave us some good reviews. We're going to be back the 1st of June, by the way, with brand new content. So we'll resume our normal scheduled programming. Until then, we're just going to give you uh, some recordings of things. And actually, you might like this even more than the typical podcast. It's really in-depth. This is client material. So enjoy this one. Let us know what you think about it. And uh, for real, I mean that for real, shoot us a message, leave us a review. We love hearing your feedback. It's the best feeling in the world. Alberto. Yes. How are you? How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm on vacation. Very well. (laughs) Okay. Uh, But I'm working my project, so. (laughs) Okay. What's your question, Alberto? Yes. I I start the program. I'm totally excited to tailor. That, uh, there is amazing, a little, a little bit nervous. So um, my question is, I, I defined an avatar and my offer last week. So I want to 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 prove because uh, you already said that maybe uh, the people don't understand the, the, the offer we, we make because it's very complex and the people really don't understand that because I try to, to sell my product so uh, months ago and the people don't understand what was my offer actually. And you say you need to, to, to simplify this, this offer, you need to simplify to, to make it understandable. But actually, um, I think I'm blind because I, I don't have the clarity because I focus on my project. I focus on all I, all I know that I cannot, or maybe I, I don't get the, the ideas to simplify it. So um, therefore, last week I sent the, the documents to you to only to check. Maybe you have uh, uh, some ideas you can help me to, to simplify or, or to make understanding my, my offer. Because this is the first time I, I put it in this way. Uh, the question you, you, you make is very helpfully. And I think I, I restructured sure. the, the offer, but uh, I mean, I don't know, it's understandable for all the people. For me, it's very understandable, but I don't know for all the yeah. people. Real, real quick, real quick, Alberto. Um, yes. How many people have you pitched the new offer to? In the, in the last months? Yeah. Three people. Three? Three yes, oh, but a uh, low value ticket. Yeah. So how many times have you pitched this new offer to people? How many times? Um, two times. And what was the feedback? Um, yeah, that the, the first the first time they see my offer, they understand they don't understand what I mean with the, what I offer. Uh, so they send me emails and I I answer the question they have. So after the I answer the question, so um, they buy my product. 
on after the, the coaching, they say this is amazing. This is a very cool and very powerful um, coaching. But I sell it for 200 bucks. So it's, um, it's not a lot of money. And, and I see the powerful of that. But the problem is this, the, the idea, the offer was not understandable. The first time, the first impact. So that was the, the feedback. Actually, uh, the, in the first time, they, they don't understand that. After I answer all the questions they have, they understand. They, they take action and they take the coach. Okay. I don't think that, I don't think you have enough clarity on who your avatar is or what they want or what they need or what they don't like. Okay. Because you're, uh, have you ever had your, have you ever had your perfect client? No, no. Well, this is, I think my problem that's, um, maybe my coaching offers so, so different things and not focus in one specific thing. This is I'm a productivity coach and I use my mapping to, to make this productivity methodology. And until yet, I, I don't have a perfect client. And I think I offer so many things because the productivity make uh, have a lot of topics. So I, I want to offer all the topics I can, I can, I can offer. But actually, for 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 the people, there's a lot. They maybe need only one or two. I don't know. This is my question. Um, and maybe I, I don't I don't have the, the clarity from from the from the avatar. Um, next week I make the yeah. exercise for you. Yeah. I mean, you don't have clarity on your avatar because it's conflicting. Um, you know, you're saying that he's independent with real estate, but he. Um, his dream is to be financially free. That's conflicting. Um, you're targeting people who live in Uruguay. They're impulsive buyers. This is not the client you want. This is not the client you want. Okay. There's not, no, you don't want someone who is like struggling to be financially free and they make impulsive decisions and they're you know divorced three times and that's not this is not a good avatar this is not the person that you want to serve if you're going to build a really stable easy client business especially in the realm of productivity so i think you're gonna have to niche down further than productivity and productivity and financial stability are two different things so you can't mix both of those in your avatar um Productivity doesn't necessarily make someone more wealthy and being unwealthy does not necessarily mean they need more productivity. Productivity is probably not the thing that you want to go after. What I think you should do is I think Ben should schedule one-on-one -on -one with you and Alex so that you can really go deeper in, dude, who do you want to work with? Like, what is it that you want? And then, Perfect. Um, you know, you can come back and we can maybe look at the avatar together once you have more clarity on that. But until then, there's not a lot I can do with the avatar because you don't know who the avatar is. Make sense? Perfect. Yes, that's a, a great cool. feedback. That's a great feedback, yeah. So I make an um, appointment with Alex and see what- I'm gonna have- yeah. Thank yeah, you so much. The team is gonna actually reach out to you. They'll set it up for you, so. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, man, keep us posted. All right, so let's, let's bring Sayon uh, over. <laughs> Hey, Sayan, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. All right, what's your question? Um, so the biggest thing I had was um, I submitted my offer validation sheet and the avatar, and I basically want to make sure the messaging and the pricing makes sense. Because like when I first had discussed it um, with Taylor and then uh, on the one-on-one -on -one call, um, we had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do with it, but. I guess the meshing wasn't fine tuned. So I wanted to make sure it made sense and like kind of was the best way to present it and then make sure the pricing also uh, is right. How much are you charging? Well, right now I'm charging monthly only. So about 6,000 per month. But I know when we had spoken the first time, you mentioned some of your um, agency clients basically have a bigger upfront offer about 15K for 12 weeks and then swap that into monthly afterwards. 
So that's what I wrote down in this sheet. Are you writing the copy? Uh, for what? For their creative? For, yeah. Uh, so just for, so like right now, this main thing is based on postcards. So yes, but we actually, at least for the current guys, the ones we do bigger campaigns for, they write the copy. If it's anything more than like a hundred words, they're doing it. Okay. <clears throat> could you could you get a copywriter to write the copy and work underneath you? Uh, yeah, I could, but see, both guys I work with right now, they they have huge uh, companies with copywriters, so they had no you know no need for my stuff. But I could going forward. Okay. So how long do you how long have you worked with these two guys? One has been about two years, and the other one has been about five months. So do you create new, new creative and new products every month or how, how long is a cycle? Um, so, so it's kind of, I want to say about 10, 12 weeks for this, these five steps right here. Um, it's, it's a little confusing because one of the people we do just this for the other one, we do like everything offline. So there's a lot more stuff going on. Yeah. So the stuff that you've just done, these five steps, the client, how much money have you made him? Uh, well, we actually have it going out right now. So it, it took longer. We, we, we did two first months of coaching, then it was about three months of actual done for you. And that campaign went out like last week and it's hitting home in the next few days. Um, what I can tell you is that we're expecting based on like past results with the other client that he would make about 60K in gross profit. And then, you know, he has his costs. So whatever his product costs for us, um, I would assume he makes at least 40, 45K net profit. Okay. Yeah, so we expect he'll make 68,000 gross profit on this current campaign. All right. Oh, dude, freaking love your offer so much. That's such a good offer. Um, dude, here's the thing that I would do, mm -hmm. and I'm just telling you this from experience, writing, like being a full-time copywriter and then working with really large businesses. Um, like for instance, let's say that you wanted to approach us and you wanted to do this for us. We'd be all aboard. It'd be like, no questions asked. Like, hell yeah, dude, just let's go. Mm -hmm. But then if you were like, it's 6K a month. It's not that that 6K a month isn't worth it. It is. It's just that we don't know you. And I'm quite good myself at doing some of this. And so it would take a little bit longer. The cycle would lengthen, right? It would just be a longer process. But if you're like, hey, before you can even hire me to do the back end stuff, you're required to go through an audit of mine, which is a thousand or two thousand bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a two week process where I'll basically identify the components creatively in your business project out what I think that we could possibly produce for you in terms of revenue give you like a loose outline obviously without giving you enough that you could do it yourself mm -hmm. and then from there we can either apply that one thousand dollars to the back end mm -hmm. or you can take the report that I give you and go hire a different copywriter and try to figure it out. Nice. I like that. It would be, hey, uh, do you take Amex? Here's my card. That would be the conversation. Mm -hmm. So you're not trying to make money on this audit. That's not necessarily the goal. What you're trying to do is actually force down this, the sales cycle into like a day or two days. And then you do that. You get a grid for the person. And then you have an out if the person's an idiot and they lied to you on a sales call and there's nothing you can do for them. You obviously don't want that, that client, right. but you're almost guaranteed that these audits are going to turn into back ends. It's almost a guarantee. Mm -hmm. And then what the way I would pitch your back end, I like the pricing. I think it's great. Um, but I would, I would consider maybe turning it into, um, you know, it's an eight K it's an eight week thing for 12 K mm -hmm. split up into monthly with no, with basically you writing the copy, or if you don't have a really good copywriter retained on staff and you need someone to write sales letters and stuff, um, then we'll do a 12 week for 18 K paid monthly. Now notice you've already given them the projections of what you think that this campaign will produce. Mm -hmm. 
Because they paid you for the that's audit. All in the audit, you mean, right? What? Uh, and so that's all in the audit. So we like look at what, what we can do for them and tell them, hey, we expect we can make you X amount. Yeah. Or is that in? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I, let's say I paid you for the audit. And it doesn't have to be 1K, but I mean, I would maybe start there just so you can get your feet wet with how to pitch it and stuff. Mm-hmm. You may raise it to 3K or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you give us a report and you're like, basically, you've got about $400,000 locked up in your list for, that I think we can access. Over, over the next six months mm-hmm. you have a list of 90,000 people and obviously we sell higher price things so not a lot of people have bought and then you're like you know we'll put together this uh this whole thing for you and we'll completely run it for 12k for eight weeks or uh, if you want to write the copy or if you want my team to write the copy and it's literally hands off and we just do it and deposit money into your bank account we'll do it for 18k for 12 weeks nice i like it like, is there a person on planet Earth who wouldn't take that? Well, well, actually, so, and that's part of my next question. But like, maybe I'm not thinking big enough on this, but my worry was that if I want to like really scale this, like I'm talking like 50 new people a month, is there enough, or are there enough companies of that size who would be? Yes. Ready for this? Yes. You know. Yes. Yes. There are more than you can handle. Your your biggest concern should not. I'll tell you right now, your biggest concern is actually not going to be, is there enough market? It's, can I scale my team fast enough without dying (laughs) to fulfill on the market? Because there are something like 3,000 seven figure businesses in the country or maybe more. There's, there's tons of businesses that would be willing to do this just in our personal connections that we could connect you with. It's, Mm -hmm. it's obscene. And the offer is something no one else is doing because everything is moved to digital. Everything is moved yeah. to online. But what we're seeing is things are moving back to offline. That's why the memos are freaking printed and sent out via mail. So people are starving for the offer that you have. You just need to really decrease the sales cycle. And then look, dude, after 12 weeks, um, you know, you can sign these clients as annual clients and they can pay you 6 K a month on a month to month with a 12 month contract, or if they pay you up front, you'll decrease it down to 50 K. You'll get people paying you 60 K up front lump sum. Right. Guarantee you. Once you do good for them on the initial one, mm-hmm. people will be like, yeah, I'll pay you 60 K for the next 12 months. True. True. Cool. Um, and then scaling just becomes a matter of raising your prices. Do it at that point. Mm-hmm. And the team. Mm-hmm. Would you recommend changes though to the messenger or do you like the, these four or five steps or do you think that's fine as is? Like does that like, kind of get across what we want to get across? Dude, as a copywriter, man, it doesn't matter as much what your five steps are because it's like, it's real custom. So I think that this is good, but use this loosely. Um, like with us, you know, you need to ask people what their biggest concern is. Like if you talk to Chris, he's going to be like, yeah, man, there are a ton of people sitting on our list who haven't given us money and I want to, extract money from them and you know just basically you could you, the pitch for someone like us who get marketing would be simply like i want to interview your list i'm going to figure out what they want to buy and then i'm going to put together a report telling you how many people i think we can upgrade and what the process would look like tell you how much money that is sitting in your list and what you would have to do to get it and it'd be like here's a grant here's two grants mm-hmm. so it's not even you don't even have to work that hard on because you're not selling coaching or consulting it's not an invisible thing Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it does. Um, so uh, I want you, I want you, I really need you to record your sales calls too. Okay. So I can hear some of them and the team can hear some of them. Okay. I can do that. Um, in terms of the, I guess like the process, so the application process, so then is it they apply and like that first call is just about getting them the audit or we do tell them everything like, the audits for, or, well, actually, yeah, I guess kind of what you were saying. So the audits first, and then, you know, if we both decide it's a fit, then it's, you know, 12K for eight weeks or or 18 for 12 weeks. 12, 12K for eight weeks and that $1,000 audit applies. So it'd be 11,000. Okay, cool. And, and so that's all communicated in call one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's probably going to take you, I'm just going to give you a heads up. 
maybe you're really good at sales already, but it's probably going to take us a couple calls getting recorded and listening to you to really fine tune that pitch for mm -hmm. it to work. So I think down the road, dude, this number could go to like 2,500 or 3K and mm -hmm. this number could go to 18. This could go to 24. But mm -hmm. for right now, we just need to lock in the pitch at a price that's low enough that it's easy for you to sell. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Cool, man. All right. Next up, we've got Kevin. Hey, Kevin. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks. All right. What's your question, man? Um, I had a couple of questions, really. One, well, the biggest one was about my organic, um, whether I was in the right groups, saying the right things, because I'm not getting much engagement as such. Uh, I know it's a compounding thing, uh, and I've been doing it for a couple of weeks just, so I know it takes time to come to fruition. But um, I just want to have some advice on that. And also thinking back to my actual offer, you know, I, I offer paid paid advertising as a part of why. Hold offer. on, hold on, one sec, Kevin. Let's tackle one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, by the way? <laughs> Scotland. And every day I wake up and wish that I had an accent from somewhere. Oh, yeah. You have an accent. It's me. It makes it. <laughs> I guess I do have an accent, but it's not. It's not a cool accent. It's like an American accent. <laughs> Forget that, man. <laughs> Let's talk about organic real fast. Yep. That was the first thing. When's the last time you posted on your profile? Uh, just before this call. I don't see it. I only see one from April 15th. So maybe it's because we're not friends. So I just see your friend request. Mm -hmm. Let's go add me real fast. Done. There we go. Okay. Are you making your posts public to everyone? Um, good question. Um. I'm not sure. I just post it. I think it may be just friends actually. Yeah. So go change your settings because the fact that I couldn't see your post because we weren't friends is bad. Right. Do I have to do that per post or can I do it globally? Yep. How many clients do you have right now? Um, I did have three, but I've got two now, which is fluctuated between two and three, four over the years. Okay. So first of all, your organic doesn't have any IP in it and you need some IP because there's 8,000 hundred million traffic agencies that you're competing with mm -hmm. and you have to have some differentiation. So you need some IP and what that means is you need to make something up and call it something and give it a name or else you're fitting right in. So, yeah, Ben, I can't share my screen because my Zoom froze up. So, sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so, but Kevin, if you're going to tell people what to do with their Facebook ads, you need to brand it as Kevin. Yeah. So, you look at Kuzmich and Hordong and uh, anybody who's killing it in the ad space, Steenberg, um, they're not just being like, oh, you need to raise your prices. You should not be writing organic about raising your prices mm -hmm. or use the power of marketing to grow your business so you can scale. That is not, that is not helpful to anybody, least of all your market. It's just not good. It's not helpful because everybody knows that right. your market's not stupid. Everyone knows that they need marketing. Everyone knows that increasing their prices might be a good idea. There's zero IP. People read that and they think, Oh, is, are you a coach? Or like, what do you, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You're not talking about the infinite scaling method or, um, you know, the circle theory of paid ads targeting or any of this stuff that you could brand as specific to what you do. Zero IP. That makes sense. Yep. So man to man, the reason your organic isn't working is because your organic sucks <laughs> and you have to get better at producing micro content and go through the organic training again. How many times have you watched it? Just the once. Okay. Big problem. Anybody on the call who's just watched the organic training once, you didn't get it. You didn't get it because I've spent four and a half years. Chris has spent four and a half years fine tuning our organic and we crammed all of it 
into two 40 minute videos, there's no way you're going to consume the whole thing in one take. Mm-hmm. So you need to watch it again because it talks about how to brand that micro content and the things that your market experiences and the different objections you have to tackle, the different types of posts. Everybody on the call should have watched that organic video five, six, seven times. And anytime you feel like your organic isn't working, go the hell back to the organic training and watch it because it's going to give you a boost of creativity. Mm-hmm. Tough love, but it is love because I want this stuff to work for you. Yeah. So I should be focusing more on obviously creating a, a, some differentiation so I can stand out. And also, when it comes to the topics of content, you know, you talk about the pains. So should be focusing on the pains that people are having. Oh, uh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Question, you can type this. Question, have you noticed Facebook costs rising, but your revenue hasn't risen with it? I've got something for you, say me below. Mm -hmm. That's Mm -hmm. pain-based. Allah says, what's IP? Intellectual property is IP. And so that'd be fine for uh, personal stuff, but uh, sorry, Group stuff would have to be a bit more educational. Organic is organic. It's all the same. If you post something in the group that's like, oh, you have to fix your prices, people are going to grab pitchforks and run you out of there. (laughs) That's my thoughts on that. That'll fix your organic. Okay, thank you. What else you got? Um, Well, my offer, um, you know, I'm not got client in my own offer so obviously people aren't going to have um in, in light of what we've been doing in the training about hyper organic in, 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 in specifically like so i was wondering is that something more i should be offering them instead of building them a funnel going to their on their website or that's more- are, should you do should you do organic for them we we use traditionally what we do is um content marketing and it works but it takes so long sometimes to work like creating blog content for our clients that the clients get worried and then they cancel because they haven't seen any results and it can take like nine to twelve months for that to work and i don't want that for my clients i don't want them to have to wait that time so that's why we're kind of condensing the offer to be just paid basically and maybe with some or, uh, organic content uh, content marketing because we have one client you know we got them to quarter million visits a month but he had a lot of faith and we were doing paid at the time and he's my ideal client and, and he's really successful i've been working with him for three years and he's made millions of pounds but other clients haven't had the success because they canceled before they reached their tipping point which i can understand because they didn't see a return on their investment as quick although i did outline that it takes that amount of time so that's why i've kind of condensed it into this paid one simple funnel you know based on what you guys said you know like keep it simple one simple funnel with paid traffic either with google or facebook a uh, funnel to on their website to, for them to then convert it's scalable it's it's predictable whereas what i was doing before wasn't what is uh what is your question the question is should I be on my offer? Should it be focusing more on what you guys talk about hyper organic rather than paid Facebook ads straight to a landing page on their website? I don't think it's a good idea to, to just focus and copy, copy us because, yeah, of course. Um, because it won't work because our, our messaging is language specifically for me and Chris and then what we do. You run paid ads, you don't run organic. You run paid ads. It would be horribly incongruent if you're like, hey, I'm the paid ads guy and we're gonna run organic traffic for you. Yeah. It's more about getting them results and the method we use. Just don't don't take a client if their funnel if they can't don't take a client if their whole funnel sucks and they need you to do everything for them. 
I mean, there's a bit of there's a bit of your mindset that I'm sensing. It's like you just feel like you have to do everything, but you don't. If you're really good at traffic, find good clients. Right. Find clients that already have a good funnel and run traffic for them. Unless you literally want to be a one-stop shop and go over and mow the yard and walk the dog and clean their cars and oh by the way I'll run ads for you. That's not what you want to be. No. Does that help? Yeah. Well, yeah, because we typically do paid ads on Google, not Facebook, and that's where my experience lies. That's where my success has been. I'm pretty good at doing Google ads. I can get most every client I've had, I've had success with. So maybe you just focus on that. Cool. Keep us posted. Thank you. All right, guys. All right, guys. That's it for today. That's all the questions. Uh, what were your takeaways from today, guys? Just drop your nugs in the chat, comment on Facebook. And uh, remember, guys, we want to see your wins in the group. We want to celebrate with you. Uh, we want to keep pushing you to go further, to go higher, to, to hit those goals. So drop your nugs. <clears throat> Jeff says, you have to begin pulling in clients after a period of time. Otherwise, your mindset will go to shit. <laughs> Carissa says, super helpful. Thank you. Just be relatable. Do pace. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thanks for being here. We'll be back with you on Thursday for the traffic tech and ads Q&A. So be sure to uh, submit your questions at least an hour ahead of time for that. And we will see you guys on the call. Take care. What's up, everybody? Chris here. And just want to take a minute and say thank you so much for listening to the Smartest Guys in Marketing podcast. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, please go leave a review on iTunes, whether it's positive or negative. We want to hear your feedback and know what you're thinking and how we can improve. Um, and if you know anybody that needs to hear what we're saying, please share with them. And the last thing I have to tell you today is if you haven't gotten the monthly memos, jump over there and grab it at trafficandfunnels.com slash memos. Here's the deal. The monthly memos is an opportunity for us to download what's happening in our business with our clients. And that's from mindset to marketing, to strategy, to tactics, to traffic, to funnels, uh, business operations across the board. We are able to just break down and give to you what's happening. So our journey is to make a big impact. We want to make a massive impact on people's lives. And for us to do that, we're doing things like the monthly memos. We want you to get ahead faster and make a lot less mistakes that, than what we have made. And I think it's a great medium for you to do that. So jump over there, grab that. The price is ridiculously low. And we, we did that for a reason, just so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to jump on there. Travelgunfunnels.com slash memos. And uh, listen, again, really, really appreciate you guys.